An 18-year-old welder nearly died from anthrax, and how he got it is super interesting, but how it was solved is more important. So most people think of anthrax as something from the bioterrorism attacks in the early 2000s, but anthrax, like bacteria, actually naturally occur in the environment especially in soil. And a CDC case report published this week describes a previously healthy teenager who worked as a welder and was hospitalized with a severe pneumonia, respiratory failure, had to be intubated, and his clinicians found Bacillus serious in his blood and diagnosed him with welder's anthrax. He wasn't immunocompromised. He didn't have a chronic lung disease. He worked as a welder. So there have been a handful of these types of cases and these types of infections in welders and metal workers, mostly in the southern U.S. And the theory is that welding fumes damage the lungs, making it easier for these bacteria and dust and soil to cause this type of severe infection. Thankfully, his clinicians recognized what was happening. The CDC was consulted and where he received this anthrax antitoxin and he made a full recovery. What happened next is that super interesting investigation for a source. CDC and NIOSH actually went to his workplace, collected samples from soil, tools, equipment, and work surfaces, and found that 11% of his samples tested positive for anthrax toxin genes. One soil sample was genetically similar to the bacteria that infected him that pointed towards that his workplace was the source of infection. And NIOSH also identified major safety gaps in closed spaces, poor ventilation, inconsistent use of respirators, and they made these recommendations to reduce the risk of more infections in that workplace. But here's the bigger takeaway. Investigations like this happen because agencies like NIOSH exist where scientists whose job is to identify workplace hazards and prevent the next case. Earlier this year, NIOSH was temporarily cut and nearly dismantled through proposed budget cuts, and the Senate ultimately rejected those cuts, preserving its ability to do its work for now. This case is why that matters. Worker safety and finding out about why cases like this happen is the difference between almost dying and going home alive.